Hey everyone, it's Kyle from Cool Collectibles, back again for another review. This time it's part two to my Hot Toys MMS 376 Han Solo and Chewbacca review with, of course, Han Solo. Um, I did do the Chewbacca review maybe a week or two ago, so I might apologize for the delay in getting uh, this part two out, but um, it's been pretty busy with uh, family and work and so on. But um, on to the review, and as you can see, the overall figure is pretty damn good. Um, it does come with a decent amount of accessories there, um, being uh, the two figure set with uh, Chewbacca with, and I think Chewbacca got most of the accessories, I think, but um, overall, I'll uh, just move the figure out the way and get um, onto the accessories. I do like the usual base, um, and this time, of course, with the set, it comes with the uh, snow attachment that you can put over the front or, or something like that. But um, I probably won't be using it uh, because I won't be using the uh, extra winter jacket. Now, uh, this scarf of his, um, the instructions seem to say do not um, untie it, uh, but mine came untied anyway. Um, and apparently it is a bit of a hassle to try and uh, fold it into that uh, nice sort of uh, winter style. Um, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, and the jacket itself, the jacket is a really nice quality jacket, um, but um, I won't bother be uh, to use it. The material is this nice sort of, um, I don't know if it's like a parachute material, but um, I think it's pretty accurate to the movie. And as always, the uh, tailoring and stitching is uh, pretty much second to none. I do love uh, the way they've done this jacket. I like the silver sort of buttons um, that you connect on. Now, unfortunately, they still use the uh, plastic clips that you can see there that on pretty much all of mine have broken um, on other figures. I haven't actually tried to re-snap them on onto this jacket and I'm not even going to bother trying but um, on my uh, Batman 1966 Batman they've uh, snapped off I think on the Joker jacket uh, they've snapped off uh, so I'm not even going to bother trying but uh, the silver parts are pretty good and I do like the uh, the woolen type collar there. So overall, uh, beautifully done on the jacket and uh, you don't need to take off uh, this uh, inner brown jacket, you just put it over the top um, as per the instructions. So that's really nice. Um, and to go with that jacket, it has a whole bunch of um, gloved hand sculpts, uh, which do look uh, nicely sculpted uh, with a lot of detail there. So um, you get, uh, I think, his gun holding hand and a few relaxed hands. So overall, uh, nicely done on the gloved hands, uh, but I'll keep it in just the uh, short jacket, so it does come with a couple of extra hands on that. So this is the gun holding hand. And I've got to say, Hot Toys does these older style hands uh, beautifully. Uh, the Obi-Wan Kenobi um, from A New Hope had beautiful sort of uh, uh, wrinkles and veins and so on, and so does this older Han Solo. So love the, the texturing and their, their paint up on the hands is uh, usually better than most other 1-6 scale figure companies and uh, this is no exception. So I love love those hands. Comes with his uh, iconic blaster which again is uh, slightly weathered. It's not too much different I don't think from the original uh, New Hope version but I'll grab that in a second and uh, give a side by side. Uh, but uh, with the uh, Chewbacca's uh, bowcaster there were quite a few differences uh, but this uh, pistol by Han here looks pretty much exactly the same mold. Um, but on to the figure. Alright, so here is a close-up look at the figure and I gotta say the standout feature of course is the head sculpt and um, I don't think even zooming in is really going to do it justice. I think uh, the prototype was uh, amazingly detailed and I think this final production version from pretty much all angles um, is probably the best likeness of Harrison Ford that I've seen in 1-6 scale uh, from anyone. Um, so I think I think the only thing that they probably could have improved is uh, the colour of the hair. Um, and it's probably not showing up too well on the uh, the camera here, but um, it's almost got like a, a golden colour to it, um, where it's uh, I probably would have preferred more white in the colour. Um, so that's probably the only sort of nitpick that I could have. Um, but uh, overall, the the sort of um, wrinkles on his face, the the expression, which is a, I guess, conveys a bit of concern, I guess, and the, his iconic little scar on his chin there, I think, um, overall, is a uh, beautiful likeness to 
uh, the way he looked in The Force Awakens. Um, and as always, the sort of um, uh, stranding in the hair is uh, the well, pretty much the best in the business. I think I, th I think um, even in Flames and Sideshow and those guys, um, the the hair is always uh, not as good um, with a thicker stranding, and so it just looks more toy-like or clay-like. Uh, whereas these Hot Toys ones really have beautiful um, sort of um, patterning on the on the hair. So I um, can't fault that. Um, the rest of the figure, uh, the underlying body, I'm not sure what uh, version of the true type is, but uh, you can especially feel around his gut here, he's definitely got a fat suit on, um, so there's a lot of padding in his torso area there, um, but everything else, I don't feel any other padding anywhere else, so it's just around the, the torso area to give him that uh, extra belly, I guess, um, which I think is uh, pretty accurate to the movie. Um, the undershirt here, is a nice sort of texture. Um, I really would have preferred if um, you could either fold this down somehow um, just to get it away from his chin there. So I might try and futz around with that because it tends to sort of stick up and um, not look so natural like that. Um, so I'll try and, uh, I'll probably go back to the movie to see how, how wide that, that was um, and just uh, play around with that. Uh, the jacket itself is a uh, beautiful material. Um, I don't think it's uh, real leather but it's it's quite thin, um, if I just uh, turn it around here, um, the texturing is pretty nice too. Um, I guess it could have been even more weathered uh, to give it uh, more of a used look, um, but the patterning and the detailing is uh, pretty damn good. Um, and uh, I love all the stitching on the pockets and so on and down the seams here, so the material is really thin and doesn't hinder the articulation at all, so you can get his arms and elbows bent quite a long way so everything sort of um, folds and bends very naturally with that sort of thin material uh, these three uh, I don't know what they are to be honest these three canisters um, I did manage to get all three in I did read a lot of reports of um, how difficult they were to put in uh, you put in two fairly easily it's always the last one uh, that's difficult with the the very tiny slots um, but uh, I slowly let, just uh, twisted it in and uh, in the end it wasn't too too bad. The overall fit of the jacket, it is pretty tight, but you can sort of um, stretch it around and uh, uh, fold it how you want. And the inner lining there is a nice material too, so I uh, do love that jacket. The belt, again, is really nicely detailed. They do recommend not uh, taking off this uh, belt. Um, I'm not sure why anyone would want to, but uh, I'm not going to be touching that to be honest, just in case anything breaks. And then he's got the uh, the holster as well with a whole bunch of pouches and stuff all um, molded in. I don't, th uh, I think, yeah, that's not. A, I don't think that's going to move too much, so I'm not going to touch that too much. Um, and then he's got the holster around his thigh there, which is a pretty tight fit. Um, they do say that you can pull off the. Uh, the boots and then the slowly shift this down but um, I'm not going to bother doing that uh, with the holster itself it does have the magnet strap there now I have heard uh, reports that once you put the uh, pistol in there you can't fully close it um, but I'll probably have him holding his pistol anyway so I'm not going to worry too much about that uh, the pants are a nice sort of a uh, khaki type material if you can see that there which is very nicely tailored and the boots, I think the biggest improvement over the uh, New Hope figure are the boots, I think. The material, again, is very similar to the jacket, I guess. It's a much softer leather, or a fake leather, whereas the original figure had a much sort of um, harder type uh, vinyl material. And so this one sort of folds and bends a little bit easier. And again, the ankles have better articulation as well. So I uh, can't really complain too much about uh, the boots. Um, the ankles themselves, it's like uh, I think they're on the uh, the double ball joint, um, so just be careful how you articulate it just to move it around and uh, give it that natural position without um, folding the the pieces into the, the the gaps in the legs there, or the ankles. So that pretty much gives you a view of the figure itself, the overall articulation. I think it's mostly hindered by the fat suit underneath here, but the arms and elbows and legs are all the usual articulation points uh, for the figure. Um, so I might just grab the 
a, a new Hope version and uh, give you a side by side. Hold on. All right, so here they are side by side and I'm definitely glad to get this older Han version. Uh, well, I guess uh, being his uh, last role in the Star Wars saga um, and uh, they've done a fantastic job. Um, so you look at the head sculpts there. Um, the New Hope version is definitely not the perfect um, sculpt. Um, it was an improvement over the uh, prototype images. Um, but uh, again, I think uh, the likeness on the new version here is a uh, pretty damn spot on. Now the pistol, if I just uh, move him out of the way, the pistol here, I think compared to the new one, is pretty much, uh, uh, oh no, actually I'm noticing some differences now. So there's the silver spot there and the uh, the front part here is slightly different. So I'm not sure if um, it's meant to be the same pistol but uh, there are some slight molding differences uh, similar to the uh, Chewbacca figure. So I'm not sure why that is and whether or not that's movie accurate, but uh, there you have it. Um, and again, you can see the original version had those uh, sort of vinyl type boots that um, I don't particularly like at all, um, but uh, his smuggler outfit is definitely uh, one of the most iconic uh, outfits that he's, uh, he's got. Um, so that's pretty much it um, to compare the two. Um, I will uh, probably uh, try and get, find a better pose uh, from some of the uh, collectors who post pictures up on OSR, etc. Um, there's definitely much better poses out there than, than I, and I get a lot of inspiration looking at those photos on Sideshow Freaks and, and One Six Republic. So I'll find a better pose and pose them up with a Chewbacca on the shelf and probably uh, take a few photos and post them up on the uh, the Facebook page. So hopefully you can head over and uh, check that out over the next few days. Uh, but hopefully you like that quick look at the uh, new Force Awakens Han Solo by Hot Toys. Uh, hopefully you can click that subscribe button and uh, stay tuned for my upcoming reviews. I think the next uh, couple of major reviews will be uh, Masterpiece, Megatron and Dirge at the end of May. So um, hopefully you can stick around for that. Thanks again and I'll talk to you guys soon. Cheers. Bye.